This baby took an afternoon nap on the couch with his cat. Out of nowhere, something happened that no one saw coming. All of a sudden, their whole lives were turned upside down. Jaya the cat had been sharing his home with baby Tom for seven months. It wasn't exactly always smooth sailing between the two. Shortly after Tom was born, he went home with his mother, Fran, and his father, Otto. Since then, Jaya had been annoyed that he was no longer the center of attention. Unfortunately, Jaya was slowly left out, as his parents were always with baby Tom. Every Monday and Tuesday, Fran was home alone with the pair. When she had an online meeting at the beginning of the afternoon for her work, Tom and Jaya often stayed together in the living room. That's when something strange happened all of a sudden. Jaya and Tom spent the whole afternoon together. Slowly but surely, Jaya realized that Tom was quite fun to play with. As Tom was just a few months older, they started to like the same games. The two brothers suddenly became attached to each other. They played with each other in the garden all day long, and Tom loved petting Jaya. They became the best of friends and brothers in no time. They were completely inseparable. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. One Monday afternoon, when the two brothers were sitting on the couch, something terrible happened. Tom was taking his afternoon nap on the couch. He'd been playing in the garden with Jaya all morning. Tom was just able to crawl a bit and loved to crawl behind Jaya. That was the game of the last few weeks. This was extremely tiring for Tom. With a big smile on his face, he crawled after Jaya for hours until, suddenly, he was too tired to sit up. Fran decided to put Tom on the couch for a nice nap. Jaya laid down next to him like a royal companion and eventually also closed his eyes. But just before Jaya closed his eyes, he suddenly saw a shadow running through the garden. Jaya looked up at the shadow. Through the window of the living room, he could see a small part of the garden. Due to the positioning of the sun, it looked like someone was walking there, but the coast was clear. Ma -u, is anyone there? No, nothing. Guess I'll lie back down next to Tom for another half hour of snoring. Half an hour passed, and the two were sleeping incredibly cutely on the couch. Fran would come and watch every now and then, and then go back to her desk with piles of work to still get through. The two slept for a few more hours, or so she thought. Suddenly, Jaya woke up in a strange room. Where am I? He thought. Jaya was suddenly in a small bumpy room with a fence at the front. Moving was almost impossible. He remembered being in something like this when he was very small and had to go to the vet. The room just hobbled back and forth. Through the fence, he saw the road. This looked familiar. This was his street. Suddenly, the room started to hobble harder and faster, and they kept speeding up. They suddenly stopped at a car. The trunk of the car opened, and the room that Jaya was in was now placed in the trunk. Everything went so fast, leaving little Jaya blindsided. When the trunk door closed, everything suddenly turned black. About an hour later, Tom woke up extremely hungry. His rattling stomach caused him irritation, and he started screaming. Friend heard this and walked to the living room. She immediately noticed that Tom was alone on the couch. She walked up to Tom and picked him up. Where's Jaya? She thought. This was the first time that she didn't see Jaya lying with Tom. After dinner, Tom went to play in the living room. But something didn't add up. Where was his little brother? The two always play together. Crawling around, Tom went to investigate. After crawling through the entire living room and also looking outside, Tom noticed that Jaya was nowhere to be seen. He had never been away from his brother for that long. Hours passed without a trace of Jaya. At one point, Fran and Otto also began to worry. He couldn't have run away because the doors had been closed all afternoon. They searched the whole house, but there was no sign of Jaya. Suddenly, Tom got a gut feeling to look under the couch. So he crawled over to it and looked under. What was lying here? Fran and Otto started to panic a little. Where had Jaya gone? Besides loving him, they knew Jaya was a cat in high demand. Everyone wanted him. Fran's father was a world-famous art dealer. Fran had always wanted an Ashira cat, one of the most expensive cats in the world. So when she heard a soft noise come from her father's birthday get to her, she knew immediately what she was getting. An Ashira cat can be worth a lot if you sell it well. But Fran didn't care about that. Jaya was part of their family. Suddenly, little Tom came crawling over to Fran and Otto in the front garden. He had something in his hand. What have you got there, sweetheart? Fran asked him. Tom put a piece of paper on the floor in front of Fran and Otto. Otto picked it up and noticed that their address was on it. Who in the hell had written this? Slowly, the two parents began to realize that someone might have broken in and taken Jaya. The thought of something like this happening scared the hell out of them. 
Their baby was lying right next to him. This piece of paper must have fallen out of the thief's pocket when he grabbed Joya. All of a sudden, little Tom started screaming and raising his hand. It looked like he wanted the piece of paper back. Otto gave it to him. Tom grabbed the paper, turned it around, and held it in the air. But then Otto and Fran saw it too. No way, they said. When the sun shone on the note, a transparent watermark became visible. It was the logo of a shop in town. Otto and Fran immediately called the police after this discovery from little Detective Tom. As soon as the police raided the store, they came across a room full of expensive cats that had been stolen from their homes. And yes, here laid also their Jaya. The moment Jaya and Tom were reunited, they dove into each other's arms. Jaya knew he could tell his little brother about the note on the floor telepathically. That was his only hope. Fran and Otto were also super proud of their little detective. The family was finally complete again, and the cat thieves were arrested, all thanks to their handsome little boy.